My wife was doing the checkbook. Wait, oh. time out. Well, welcome to the show. Welcome oh, back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Welcome to the show, folks. You got to be kind to these people that keep coming 300 and whatever number we are in. And Cy has been trying his hardest to tell us his bank story before we got recording. And I wouldn't let him. Cy, what happened at the bank? Huh? Hey, we got a lot of criminals out there, folks. At the bank? Hey, no. We got a lot of criminals out there that try to get into the banks. Because look. Have you had an idea? My wife is doing the checkbook, oh. and there's a, I couldn't even read what it said. Only thing I knew was that it said something.com. Hmm. Well, everybody knows me and computers do not get along. Yeah, but nuts.com has been around since Well, hey, I'm just telling you. I'm telling you. Okay, so look, I had to go up there to tell them. I said, look, I think. This six hundred and twenty-two dollars and forty-five cents. A lot of questions already. What? You drove to the bank? Yes, I drove to the bank. I had to stop this. Fraud is involved. <laughs> oh, does your phone still not work? Huh? Oh, he well, got a new phone. I think that's what caused the fraud to happen. Uh-oh. Is for about seven days, my wife has been talking to a bunch of people trying to get my phone fixed. Mm. And then what happens is hey, a $622 bill shows up on my account. Where was it to? Huh? Just to dot .com? Something well, dot I, com. like I said, I couldn't even read what it was. It was something dot com. AT&T. So look, I go up there and I said, hey, guys, look, got a problem here. I said. You uh, knocked? Yeah. No, no. I went in the bank. I said, may I help you? I said, yeah, you can. I said, we got a problem here. I said, uh, anything that deals with computers, I says, yours truly is out. Which is why I'm up here making this report yeah. instead of yeah. doing it on my app. Yeah, because I said, hey, look, I do not have any, uh, you know, I don't even have a cell phone because they won't work for me. I said, so y'all need to look at this and then get my money back because it, it ain't me because it's got dot .com on it. So as he, he went and typed my account number up mm-hmm. and he said oh you're right it definitely ain't you what was it uh what he pulled up looking at the you know, no i know said, no this ain't on your account he said we'll have to do something about it he said first what we're gonna do is he said we're gonna trade this credit card and then i'm gonna issue you a new one mm-hmm. you know cancel all that you what know, did philip mcmillan buy well, yeah you know, that definitely wasn't sci well no no hey go look how do they know it definitely wasn't you? That's why I, I hey, need to know what the website is. All I is. know is he tapped in my account number and he looked over and laughed. And he said, this definitely ain't you. So, so I'm just, they know. Okay. And if, if anything for Si, that's only a deposit coming from so him. Look, somebody's trying to get in my money. What? All yeah. they got to do is show up at the poker game if well, they Well, hey, I'm money. just telling you, hey, I'm, well, hey, see, the, no, they can't get it that way, Martin. Not why not? I heard. Hey. Because I don't give it to him. So you you asked me. <laughs> so here's here's the reason I bring that up is I you love, asked, he's always they always sell play. No time poker. out. Look, I at, I went and got my haircut. You pointed that out. Yeah, I know. Well, and when I got nice. when I got done, yeah. Mr. Brister walked in. <laughs> That's a poker buddy. I know. Then I said, <laughs> "Well, Mark, you look kind of tired." He's like, yeah, we played poker last night. I said, oh, Lord. I said, how much of size money did you take? He didn't take none. Well, that's what he said. He said, but I think he got clipped for a little bit. Oh, I got took for some. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I'm not going to say the amount. I don't want anybody to know size business. But that's why I said, if you want that kind of money from size, just go play poker. It was the best. He'll give it it to you with a smile on his face. It was the worst bad bad beat I've had in years. Them boys are Addicts. Addicts. Oh, no. Hey. What time did you oh, hey. We should be. Uh, oh. All should be a member of Gamblers Anomalous. <laughs> I don't think that's okay. Because, hey, every one of us is sick. We're, and the sickness is on, gone past way back. It's gone past the insanity mode. Yeah, it's wild. What time did you go to bed last night? No, this was uh, no, Friday, this was Monday Friday. night. Friday night. Yeah, yeah, Friday night. What time did you go to bed Friday night? What? Some thirty two o'clock, something like that. Sometime Saturday morning. That's pretty impressive. A man of his age can still 
Stay up two, what three, four in the morning. About? He sleeps till twelve every day. Yeah. Well, he uh, does. That's look, true. hey, that's my workout. I work. <laughs> I, I work out getting out of bed. You see morning. those red marks on his cheek? Around, around ten uh-huh. o'clock. That's that CPAP. Oh yeah, he's got indentions from the CPAP. Podcast right starts at two o'clock. That CPAP ain't been off that face very long. Mm-mm. No. Oh, you're going to have to start putting you some Vaseline or something around the edges of it. Yeah. That way it don't yeah, I got I need like to that. talk to the doctor too about that, too, because, hey, yeah. my oxygen level has gone up. Oh. Well, that's good. Well, I don't know if it's good or not. Your blood oxygen or just? Uh, well, no, no. I'm talking about on my machine. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even think it went that high. Uh-oh. The highest I saw it was like five. Yeah. Well, hey, I punched it the other night, you know, when I was going to bed, and I looked, and I said, whoa, you know, this thing's up to nine. Uh-oh. Okay. You know, so I hit the button a couple of times, and it went down to 4.5, you know. But during the night, okay, hey, it went back up to nine, because when I woke up this morning to turn it off, I look, it's on nine. I'm thinking, good grief. And when it's on nine, hey, it's keeping my wife away because the mass has got so much oxygen coming out of it it's making all kind of weird sounds <laughs> <laughs> darn fader over here no, no, I'm serious, uh, i don't know nothing about them so no, no, no. well hey know. i've got the whole face mask mm-hmm. okay not just on the nose yeah well that's over there you know and uh, uh air escaping from underneath the plastic yeah makes all kind of it's putting out noise. more than you can take in yeah because i'm saying good grief y'all Oh, you can feel it. It's got a pretty good pressure on it. Well, what did you find? The Gamblers Anonymous, they meet Mondays at 6 over in Monroe. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. I'll give you the address should. if you I want. I said we should. Followed yeah. by a poker car. game at it, 7. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, well, I, I'd never heard of the building, and I looked it up, and it fe- I, I, I feel like there's a craps table doing something underground oh, yeah. in there. I, I don't know that it's a good thing. Oh. I'm sure it is. I, I, I'm sure if we all showed up, that we would all hear the same thing. We can't help none of y'all. Okay, so we're too far gone. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. it happened. No, no. So it ain't no issue even bother going over there, okay? We Did you have to go to get that charge fixed? Well, yeah, I had, yeah. No, it, no, that's, no, no, that's another account. Oh. No, I want you. How many banks yeah. you got? Dang, because huh? I could backdoor in the side I got of the a county. Couple, yeah, I got a couple <laughs> of them. You got a couple of them? Yeah. I could I could find out for all of our uh all of our thoughts and laughter what it was <laughs> if I just had to about like, right, what what fraud account does I have happened to because I'm just interested man uh, man that, oh, I'm very, look, can you bring they it? actually uh, they actually caught the guy okay for that done it two years ago impersonating you uh, yeah oh yeah yeah I remember that yeah. yeah they caught him and they caught him in Georgia mm-hmm. well nothing popped up now yeah. They after you, dude. They'll get you too. Hold on, you did someone steal your identity, Si? Oh, uh, well, they got fake IDs. Yeah, I got a fake ID. Hey, though. and look, the reason the reason they they found out is a friend of mine that plays poker with me, Scotty Rob. Okay, he works at a bank, and and one of, somebody called that bank and said, "Hey, do you know Mister Robertson? Does he know anything or do deal with computers?" And Scotty Rob busted out laughing. He said, hey, no, nah, that ain't him. If it's computers, it's fraud. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how the first one got caught. And the banks believe that? Well, well hey. I feel like we should buy something. They know. And just no, no, send no, Cy up there. You can buy like a car on the internet now. And then Cy be like, it was fraud. I'm old. And then be like, oh, he's right. Don't charge him. <laughs> Would that well, I'm work? Just, I'm just telling you, hey, just don't do you'll it. Be, you'd That'd be, be too shocked much of a headache to know me. that you know Big Brother is watching. Trust me when I tell you that. Yeah. With all this computer Phil? stuff going on, they know more than you think. Okay. Lordy. Because when a man can just type in an account number and then look at me and laugh and say, "Yep, you're right. That ain't you." I, that's why I just got. I, 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 I need to know what. Oh it no! Is. I'm telling you. Can you bring it? it? Was it was hilarious because as soon as he typed it in, it come up. He busted out laughing and said, "You're right. This definitely is not you." Ooh. For six hundred dollars, I need to know what that is. 
Johnny D, did you eat your greens this morning? I did not eat my greens, but one scoop will do you. And I took one scoop, water bottle, shook it up, and drank my greens because I drink AG1 every morning. Mm, I do too. Taking care of your health isn't always easy, but it should be simple. And nobody in here is a doctor or a scientist or anything like that. Uh, we're just regular dudes trying to be healthy. And that's why for the last few years, We've been drinking AG1 every day, no exceptions. It's just one scoop mixed in water once a day, every day, and it's going to make you feel on top Ooh. of the now, world. Look, that's because each serving of AG1 delivers my daily dose of vitamins, minerals, pre and probiotics, and more. It's a powerfully healthy habit that's also powerfully simple. I got a question. Yeah, Tell I, me what's in AG1. I know everything you need for a day is right there. You don't have to go through all the different vitamins, pills, supplements, one a day, B B Z, C, B, I don't know. Magnesium, all that good stuff. Right there in one scoop, and it's going to give you energy, help you focus, and keep you healthy. Who wants to be sick? Not me. Because every AG1 delivers your daily dose of vitamins, minerals, pre and probiotics, and more. It's a powerful, healthy habit that's also powerfully simple. Uh, I gave it a try. I think Christian... Captain yep. America himself. Superman. Is that who started it? I think, so. I think he started it. And before you know it, we got it in the break room at Duck Commander. It's all over. Everybody's drinking it. I drink it first thing in the morning before I work out because I'm back working out. And I try and tell everybody I know about it. It's great for gut health. That's it, boy. And hey. all for less than a cup of coffee. AG1 it's not going to break the covers bank. it all. Going to cover it all. If there's one product I had to recommend to elevate your health, it's AG1. And that's why we've been partnering with them for so long. So if you want to take ownership of your health, start with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash duck. That's drinkag1.com slash duck. Check it out. out. So they got to give me a I mean, it's like report. that time up here that, that yeah, man, they got to get me a written report that on. our man Harry got his attack. No, all right, take a break. Uh, uh, no, that was weird. <laughs> no, it's funny though, because like it's had, funny, but it's, it's funny inappropriate because y'all have never met Harry. And if you met him, he is our controller slash accountant. He's like the most meek, mild individual you've ever seen in your life. Proper, I d definitely doesn't fit in here. Yeah, his but, shoes have tassels. Yeah. Yeah, and he wears a jacket and collars and like it's weird. tucks his shirt in. Yeah, it's right. wild. Cares about himself really, mm -hmm. and um, washes his car. Mm -hmm. And hey, and hey, he he's but oh. but here's the best part. Look, Sai, you probably don't even know this, but somebody got into his Amazon account and just bought stuff and bought stuff. But to have that happen to Harry Profit. It did show up here, and it was a weird bop. Yeah, and that's there were where like we three should leave of it. them. That's where we should leave it. But good. Oh luck. yeah, we're not going any further into what they were. It's just, uh, the, and then Harry's just like, "I've been hacked," and yeah. just dropped uh. the thing, and it's like, <laughs> "Oh wow, okay." What I don't life. even know. Judgment Day is going to not be great for the people that even thought to make those type of ordeals. Yeah, that was weird, but I. But it's funny because Harry is like the most when you're talking about finances and. All the things he's tracking. a genius. He is, and that is that is his job and what he does. So the fact that that man can get hacked, oh, anybody can get it hacked. proves to oh. you that anybody somebody tried to, somebody tries to hack our email. Oh crap! I just said it. Now it's gonna happen again all the time. What duck call room? Mm -hmm. Why do they want that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do you hey. really want to go down that wild We're ride of emotions? Hey. Yeah, I yeah. had it for a little while and took it off my phone. So. It's a wild ride yeah, of you're, emotions. You're going to the twilight zone when you're trying to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, it is. Why? Man. Did, why? Yeah. Oh no. Why? Why? Why do hackers? What? What? Don't they know they could get the same thing if they just went to work? It's a lot of fun, though. Is it? Like I'm, like hacking somebody's stuff is fun. Is it? Oh, yeah. Like, if I got on your Facebook and just changed everything. Why is that fun? See, that's not hilarious. Fun. That's not fun. I wouldn't me. want to steal from you. But, like, you remember when Facebook first came out and you got your buddy's phone In other words, and updating your status to, like, it's a prankster. Just, just poop my pants. And that's hilarious. Yeah, but that's not hacking. That's that. just taking their phone when it's unlocked. I mean, well, Willie, yeah. Willie Robertson is the reason I put a lock on my phone back in the day. He's bad. Like, because he will get your stuff. And, and he will text, like... Somebody you haven't talked to in a really long time. Yeah. And tell them something really personal about yourself. Or like, he texted 
uh, Dasher, Zach Dasher, he got his dad's cell phone and texted Zach, hey, I'm having chest pains. Sent. That's and then just threw the phone, yeah, like on the couch. Like and nothing like, ever happened. <laughs> why, why would you? Why would you do that? But we are talking about the guy whose biggest hobby used to be filling out like the little free mailers and stuff for people's addresses until their mail got shut down. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, the boy, <laughs> a prankster. Yeah. Oh, prankster! But that see, hackers are like yeah, malicious. Pranksters is fun like, one time willie put a bunch of prayer requests yeah, they, in the yeah, all prayer far. lobby at the at the uh at the airport you know like the all religions prayer lobby uh-huh. they had a request thing so jordan summit had a lot of prayer requests that day <laughs> oh jordan's been the brunt of a lot of those <laughs> poor guy <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to be taller and hey, we prayed to all the religions that y'all didn't are hurt. terrible <laughs> y'all are terrible uh so in case y'all ever want to know what kind of guy working for Willie is, do not leave anything you own unlocked, logged in, or or otherwise, because you do are not. in a bind. Like he's the reason I shut my computer every day when I walk away from my desk. One hundred. I never know when he's going to show up, and I don't know who he'll email <laughs> or. I ain't trying to hide now. You can go look. I'll go log into my computer right now. Everybody can look at it. But you can't leave it unlocked around him because just like Cy had a weird dot com chart, that's probably something that he would do. Yeah, he'd buy something yeah. on your card yeah. for sure. Something totally strange. Are we sure that Willie isn't the one that did this, Cy? Oh, I, I don't know. They're going to find out. <laughs> that's a good point. So you don't remember anything, any details about who that was? No. $600. Yeah. Six, 622 45 and then when I, he didn't remember his no details, no, that's but what, he, down no, to the penny, we no, got that. That's what my wife's got on my checkbook, okay? When I went up to the bank, he said, oh, yeah, it's a, a $490. Okay. You know, because my wife said, wait a minute, it's 622 is what I seen on the on the thing I brought up. Yeah. He it's said, why did he really- say 490 And I said, darling, hey, they'll, they'll get it right. Don't worry about it. Is Philip McMillan involved in this at all? I don't know. I don't know who's involved in it. All I know is, hey. Do you still have a checkbook? What's a checkbook? All I know is, hey, look. The I've detectives, got one. The detectives have turned the dog loose, and the dogs are sniffing, following the trail. You don't leave your wallet on the table while you're playing poker, do you? No. Because <laughs> about no, half of them that, boys need to that, game. I got my credit card in a, one of them protective cases. Hmm. Okay, so no. So do I. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm telling you, there's too many criminals out there. What? Oh, right. oh I don't know. I think you bought something on an infomercial and forgot about it. That's just me. I, no, no, son, you don't understand. You stay up late. Oh, you don't understand. <laughs> when it comes to money. There ain't an oh, infomercial around at $622. And, and 45 it. cents. Yo, I, I don't buy something and forget about I it. I will say, the only... Thing you know about this is that it was six twenty two forty five. What if it was battlevision dot com? I was no, it ain't battlevision. Dot com. <laughs> you remember that? I showed up one one day at the lair, and there were a pair of battlevision sunglasses in everybody's locker. Phil saw it on the infomercial. Told Dan to get everybody a pair of those. <laughs> Wait, battlevision got two Robertson? Hey, look, <laughs> yeah. And Phil hey. bought them for every. That's no, so, Phil got it, everybody. It's so look, nice, yeah. though. Is hey. that where you found them? Hey, no, no, look. No, no, I already had mine. Okay. You got to understand when you. <laughs> oh, Phil on, was late, huh? Hey, yeah. look, if you are got a glare when you're driving. Oh, at here night, we go. Oh, you put yeah. on Battle Vision, the glare's gone. Put on chartreuse sunglasses. Hey, put yeah. them on and hey, don't drive. Ain't no glare. Look, mm. well, we got in the blind the next next day, and Phil looked like Brett the Hitman Hart sitting there. <laughs> Had a big hey, old red glare, mirror you. on his head. Mm-hmm. It gets rid of the glare, boys. Uh, They're good. They get stuff. Man, you old people are gullible. Oh, well, you, <laughs> I love yeah, it. I got a feeling somebody called and, you, the, you know, because that, that's who them scam callers are out for. Well, no, but he's robo killer. No offense, man. And that's a good thing. They, like, call and trick the elderly yeah, the, into hey, just, like, giving them money. Hey, here's the deal. You know what's been nice about having no phone? You ain't got to kill no robots. It yeah, it ain't ringing. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't ringing. So I don't have to sit there and say, you know, kill them. 
I did get a text the other day with your new phone number. The, and then I looked, so I put in Cy Robertson. It's like, do you want to replace it? How many do you have? I had like seven yeah. of them. Yeah. And this all started since Duck Dynasty because he had one number for oh. years, and then they just started changing phone services every other month. I, I never oh I never understood. I, in the world of landlines, I didn't know that many options existed. Well, my wife has been on the phone. Okay, for seven days, <laughs> so, trying to get the stupid phone working, you know. We're going to have to holler at Rocket Money about phone service Oh, no, next. no. <laughs> this is, yeah, that's why, hey, I, I, you know, they're overrated. What's that, a phone? One. Yeah. I, I because think they're rated they, look, properly. They was, the phone was made, the cell phone. Whoever come up with it had a good idea. Okay, if I'm on the highway, you know, my wife's on the highway and she breaks down, if the tire goes flat or the car quit, she can call. Yeah, that's a good thing. Can we that's get a, a bag phone? Well, now if there's only one problem. They should have never put keyboard on it where they can type because nobody uses the phone anymore to say, let me call this number. Hello, I need to talk to Cy. Is no. that why you drove no. to the bank? Hey, no. Because no. you couldn't text They them? don't use a phone to communicate. Mm. It's, a, it's turned into a typewriter. Well, isn't that what communication is? Well, he, he hey, meant to talk. No. To talk. No, a cell to phone speak. is supposed to be for, hey, call somebody, and at the other end, when it rings, pick it up and say hello. Who are you? What you want? That's yeah, not, a lot of that's times not I, what y'all do, though. Uh, that's see, not uh, what Phil does. When he picks it up, he says, yeah. Yeah. And then, he, and then the next one is, is yeah, bye. No, no. <laughs> Phil Robertson ain't ever said bye. No. Not no. one he just time. Hangs up. It's about three. Okay, okay, okay. That's it. Yeah, hang up. They ain't no bye. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the Robertson man have the phone? No. Nah. Yeah. That's no. a useless piece of junk. I think the word we're looking for is manners. Uh, no, nah, it's a useless piece of junk. <laughs> yeah. I don't miss having one. <laughs> never had one no. to begin with. You had the one that cussed you in the airport, and then you they haven't done right, it since. That's another thing. Anytime you pick up something and it cusses you out, hey, throw that thing in the trash. <laughs> I love okay? it. Okay? Oh, I love it. Hey, I would like to just have about a week of the shotgun and just everybody bring their phone, throw them up, and I'll blow them away for you. Now, you ain't doing that to mine. I need mine. I mean, I kind of oh, like it. Oh, they're nice to have if you're on the road and it breaks down you can call for some help. I See, wish I, I just had a bag phone. That'd be awesome. The part but I otherwise, disagree with is I think text messaging is like one of the single greatest things that ever happened. It is true, because I don't want to talk. I you. don't want to talk on the phone. I could have called you and said, Martin, why are you late? We're all just sitting here. But I yeah. said, Martin, where are you? Five minutes. And that yeah. solved yeah. so much very quickly. Yeah. So, I mean, that I do like that. And plus, it allows me, like. We should teach you to text. I even think with be the, a great texting friend. No, no, this thing, no, I couldn't text nothing. Could you imagine the funny stuff he'd send back? Oh, oh I, you would get goobly got. Go, well, yeah, probably so. I'm serious. If I've done it, because hey, my fingers are not that that little that they can touch them little little numbers. No, our little letters. Oh, we can make it bigger. We Hello. can make it where you can hey, you can just talk into the phone and then it'll text me what you say. Oh, because I figured out what could happen on that. No, no, he hey, said, I'd say something. He'd cuss me out again. No, I ain't going that well, First off, it's a she. Hey, forget but. it. Hey, <laughs> forget a guy. It. Is it? Yeah, he's uh, Irish. Irish. If you call me, my voicemail is an Irish guy. Really? I didn't even know how I did that. Hey, that's tight. Well, I'm just glad they're they're opening up more options. Is Canadian an option? Eh? <laughs> Canada. Canada. Give me a moment. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> just wondering, can you leave a message, eh? Like, I, I don't know. That'd be kind of fun. I, I don't have many accents. I'm not very good at it, but. I Canadian ones are tough. Hey, Beth's is pretty good. She well, she's a basically she's an American Canadian. at this point. She ain't dropped an A since she's been here. Um, McMillan knows nothing about the six twenty two forty five. Well, he don't know about that. That's unfortunate because that could really be a lot of fun. Call Christine, see if we can figure out who it's from. I'm actually kind of interested. Okay. Beth well, wants us to call Christine. Yeah, we'll 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 jump to a break and we're gonna call Christine. We're gonna find out the website and then maybe we'll throw the website if it's appropriate up on the TV. I'm not sure though that the guy that 
The fact that the man at the bank dismissed it that quickly makes me think it is either exercise oh. equipment or something inappropriate. Yeah. No, I just thought that was so weird. He entered my account wonder- number, and then I said, "You're right. It definitely ain't you." I forgot what subscription I accidentally had the other day. Do you have more oatmeal? No, no. You I got, got rid of got got oatmeal, got huh? taking care of the oatmeal one. Oh, There's man. so many things now that are subscriptions that you don't know they're subscriptions until they show up the second time. <laughs> <laughs> and well, that's hey, where look, Rocket got, Money comes I in. The, I, I got the perfect thing for you, son. What is it? You need to get Rocket Money. He already has it. How do you think he knows how to cancel it? Well, I'm just that's, saying. Hey. If I didn't have Rocket Money, I'd be broke. But I get right here on my app, go through all the things that are recurring, cancel, boom, they take care of it for me. Yeah. Guilty also to watch the one thing, sign up for something. I'll never forget that. No, Bop, then there it is. Seven day free trial. Next thing you know, shawack. You you just paid for a whole year. I mean, you can subscribe to anything today. You can like subscribe, get fishing baits. You can you can get TV, music, and who is an account oatmeal time to be a dad, a mom, a job, and cook food and be an accountant. You don't have time for that. But that's what you got Rocket Money for. That's where Rocket Money comes in. Well, I've already canceled everything, but if I needed to cancel something else, Martin, I go right here to my handy-dandy Rocket Money app. Boom. Shows me all right there. Need to cancel this one. Pow. Cancel. It's done. Just 75% like of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about. We're all guilty of it. Everybody. 100%. Everybody is guilty of it. You think you got like, oh, I probably got five or six, and then boom, you get on there and you got 17. You're like, uh-oh. Problem. Alert. More than one. Alert. Oh, oh, boy. So, look, thanks to Rocket Money, you no longer have to worry about wasting money on the ones you forget about. Look, if you're trying to save money, Rocket Money is key at that, too. It can track your spending, all your finances, all the things there in one place. And Rocket Money will help you cancel anything that you don't want. Look, at the end of the busy week, last thing you want to do is spend time budgeting expenses or tracking down customer service teams to cancel old subscriptions. So, just use Rocket Money, click the button, call it good. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. You can see all your subscriptions in one place, and if you see something you don't want, Rocket Money can help cancel it with just a few taps. The dashboard shows me this month's spending compared to last month, so you can compare. Are you trending up, down, level, whatever? You can track yourself. It's an ultimate accountability app. Look, Rocket Money will even try to negotiate lowering your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is submit a picture of your bill, and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They'll deal with customer service for you. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash duck. That's rocketmoney.com slash duck. Rocketmoney.com slash duck. Well, all right. It's a good idea. <laughs> we tried. Oh, uh, she said, all right, time out. She said, oh, wait, let me go to the bank website. So we're about to find out. Oh, we're out. about to find oh, out. She, I'm very excited. Okay. She couldn't answer, but I got Christine via text message. Didn't have to talk to her. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you just got the whoop 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 my favorite part is him and phil both say that they hate technology till they need it and then they keep somebody around them at all say, times that's got it somebody yeah. close, D- dan has a job just to have a cell phone well speaking of dan uh-oh mm-hmm. <laughs> speaking of people that do a lot of pull-ups <laughs> he was, he he i was sitting at my desk that. yesterday and a figure just comes walking in with a helmet on I'm like, well, the helmet. Oh, he's got him a motorcycle, hasn't he? Yeah, I was yeah. like, why did a man yeah. just walk through these halls wearing a helmet that said Monster Energy? I, I'm just like, what was it? Was he in his Bruce Lee jumpsuit? He was. He had on, and no, he didn't have on a full jumpsuit, but he had on sweat britches. And but so he was wearing the helmet all so, the way in through the office. He did. He wore it and then had a full conversation with Becky. With the helmet with on? on? With the helmet on. With that on. Did then he, he stopped by the... my office. Oh, he did flip up the visor so you could see his eyes. He then, uh-oh. I'm so excited message from about Christine that buzz. Oh, uh-huh. wow. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty easy to know it's not Cy. Um, I'll tell you in a minute. It's not. It's very unfulfilling, uh. so, unfortunately. <laughs> but, um, no, so then he comes and has a conversation with me. 
helmet on. And then asked me, he says, do you want to see my bike? And I was like, not really. Not really. <laughs> I mean, I was just like, Dan, I've seen bike. But the it's, bluntness of Justin Martin. But it's Dan. No, so I don't. I, but it's Dan. So I said, yeah, I'll come look at it with you, whatever. Because, you know, Dan does me a lot of solids with Phil. Like, I can get in touch with Phil pretty easy because of Dan. So I went out there expecting to see, like, you know, a motorcycle. Is it a dirt bike? Well, no, it's one of them little fast ones, but it's little. It's I didn't know they made them this small. It's four fifty. Yeah, it's it's just a little tiny thing. Like Mm-mm. it's the next step up from a moped. No, sir. Like in size, like because it's just it's little. And I what, said, what's what's on the speedometer? I didn't look because I, I didn't want to know. Probably one twenty. No, <laughs> but no. then I asked him. I said, so "Dan, I said, do you just feel safer? Period, with that helmet on. Like, why ain't you took it off?" <laughs> <laughs> and this is my favorite part he said well i ordered the helmet without having without checking the sizes and it hurts too bad to take it on and i'll take it off, to take it off and put it on he said so once i get it on i just leave uh, it yeah he, he ain't taking it off mm. okay, it wrong size. Size. i said dad do you think that may have been a sign that you don't need a motorcycle amen <laughs> i'm not into motorcycles uh, no because uh, you know we have a thing with motorcycles because uh-uh. we've had a lot of friends oh yeah and, and cousins and actually robertsons that have lost limbs and all this junk with with motorcycle so well, you not, gotta worry about that one him because he goes about 30 miles an hour yeah but i, I had a friend in high school he won had one in mopeds it was the top speed was 30 he hit run under a, a, a wagon oh vegetable the rest of his life unbelievable yeah. Oh, no, like Jimmy's son lost his leg, wrapped it around a telephone pole, bike. And bad part was is he asked, the son asked Jimmy Frank, you know, can I buy a bike? And Jimmy Frank told him no. His wife went down and let him buy one, and hey, next thing happened, he'd lose his leg. Yeah. Be safe out there, people. No, Dan's yeah. is yeah, so... Yeah, because, hey, it's... Wear a helmet even inside. Dan's right. is so small, he would be, like, easy to miss on the road. Like, it, it's not... That's why I drive the vehicles I do. Yeah, it's not a big enough footprint. When me Hold and on. my family get in a car wreck with you, we're going to go, whoa, and then we're going to ask if you're okay. But we're going to be all right, and we're going to sort it out in, in the ladder. You okay? I'm not going through any trees. Ah. Uh, he said the worst was his actual father when he told him. Oh, Gary? Yeah. Gary's, uh, yeah. Yeah. He Not said, a lot of fun in motorcycle coming from old Gary. <laughs> he said he had He said he said had him and his mom on speakerphone when he was telling him. He says dad went silent for about 15 seconds after he told him. <laughs> and then he said the only thing he said was, well, I didn't think I raised somebody to do something that dumb. <laughs> Yeah, that's Gary. He said, I said, well, what else did he say? He said, nothing. That's it. That was it. He two, said, wheels, I, two wheels are dangerous. He said, I don't know if he walked away or just got real quiet. He said, yeah, but I, I never heard another thing no. from dad. And and Dan's dad, by the way, is the one that like started filming yeah, he, Commander. So like the original cameraman. The OG cameraman, editor, and everything. So there's a little backstory for y'all listening at the house. But, very yeah. serious guy. Well, boys, judgment day. Um anyway. Uh, the what? website. The website. Yeah, very, you're, you're very killing un- me. Very unfulfilling. It was uh it's M U K host dot com, the UK's most reliable cloud web hosting. Again, very unfulfilling. Christine said the bank has already returned the money. And she said, this is definitely not something Cy would get. Also, nothing I would do using his cart. Well, yeah. I mean, I, now I see why the guy was like. That's yeah. so boring. Yeah. And you're going to get hacked. Like. Yeah. So Cy was hosting some website in Europe for somebody. So, <laughs> you know, who knows what that was. Probably little German pizzas you can roll up like a cigar or something. Ooh. You know, I don't know. Hey, somebody, I, somebody. I could eat a dozen of them right now. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure I can, I can uh, tell. Yeah, after we take a break i'll tell you what i rolled up last night oh no let's Uh-oh. keep let's keep rolling because i, oh, I you need you to rolling? yeah we'll just keep rolling we'll let hunter find a break in this to 40 minutes yeah, but well, well i want to know your newest member first of all that you told us of the jujitsu gym oh rucker <laughs> your boy rucker and how made, does that work so i've made a prediction concerning you also made a prediction rucker. about the colorado buffaloes well hey about Texas hey, give it Christian six months. Give it University. six months and then get back with me. Oh, what, give what's Rucker your, six on, months? On what Rucker? It's going to tell him. What he can't do. I don't, I'm with you. The boy is sharp and he's driven. 
but he is severely out of shape. It's going to take a lot longer than six months. Uh, y'all going to have six months to be enough. Nope. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's about to lose a month to a cracked rib on day one. Right. No, they, they go, his... right. no, they, no, they get over, they pop it back in place and are back at it next week. Eight he's weeks. He's done that all the time. I, it happened to me once. He's tougher oh, than yeah. most. He's Jay Stone. Oh, they all, hey, hey, if they're all in that jujitsu, they're going to be, they're tougher. He's, no, no, no Jay, okay, hold on. Jay's into jujitsu. Rucker's just walking off the street. Right. Yeah. Now, the Rucker did tell me this. He said, not many people know this. But I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. And I looked him in the eye and said, Don't tell anybody in here because you will suffer. I said, What do you mean? I said, just don't do it. Just don't, it's not do it. just don't do it. Just keep that yeah. yourself. Well, first day he gets in there and gets to squirming around, acting like brand new white belts do. This is what people do, it's, it's natural. And to stop that, you have to subdue them. <laughs> And it can be quite painful, but you're doing it to yourself. Well, he cracked a rib where the rib popped out of his back. Didn't crack it. Popped out of his back from pressure from somebody who knew what they were doing. Mm. Is there video footage of this? No, but I wish it was. <laughs> Did hey, you? That's the first time I noticed we was watching TV over here. Now, watching the, the all of these different masters fight. This is the very first UFC we were watching, like with Hoist Gracie. You know, remember they used mm-hmm. to have karate versus. Mm-hmm. That's when the experiment I, happened. I noticed one thing that they, when they got to the jiu-jitsu master, all of the other masters got did this. I felt like they we tapped out real quick. You know what you don't do at the bank? You don't sleep at the bank. But if you took your pillow with you, you could. If I took my pillow, I could sleep anywhere because it's my pillow. Hey, do, so I've got a question. Do you yeah. have a bank robe? A bank robe? Yeah. No, I, don't I mean, you on. wear it everywhere else. Hey, I don't but. I don't put on a robe to go to the bank. No, well, I mean. Hey, I robes just, are for indoors. Indoors only. He's an indoor robe guy. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of the great indoors, you know who made the great indoors better? Mike Lindell. Mike Lindell. You know why I did it? Better. We have stuff. two. 2.0 pillow. 2.0 pillow. Giza hey. Dream Sheets. Best hey. night's sleep you ever needed is right there at mypillow.com. And slash the go. robes. Yeah, robes. Hey, hey robes, boy. You gotta, hey, I've got a, a leisure robe. Okay. i got a workout robe. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> hey. got, you didn't know I worked out, did you? And then you put some slippers on. You can, hey. you oh, can hey. relax then, hey. the best. Then you're in, hey, you might as well die because you're in heaven. But if you've had a long hey. day and you need the best sleep, to, sleep hey. of your life, it the best sleep, just it's getting better. Because for a limited time, you can get a queen size set of the Giza Dream Sheets for fifty nine ninety eight. King size just sixty nine ninety eight. The lowest prices in history. Mike and the MyPillow employees continue to be canceled by big box stores and attacked by the media, but not here. And they just want you guys to know that they appreciate all your great support during these times and want to thank you by giving you the best specials on their My Pillow products. So whatever you want, they got them: slippers, got sheets, pillows, he gives you the beds. Best product, then he gives you the best price. There you go. I, yeah, hey, you know why? Because he's a real America, American, boys. Hey. Amen. And look, if you want to take advantage of this to get the best specials ever, go to MyPillow.com slash duck. Enter promo code duck. Or call 800-969-3137. You'll get the famous Giza Dream Sheets queen size for $59.98 and king size for just $69.98. You'll also get 60% off the original My Slippers. Go to MyPillow.com slash duck. And enter promo code duck. Or call 800-969-3137. And hey, do it today. I'm talking about Immediately, right now. Yeah, so fast Order. that I can't even finish the phone number. 800-969-3137. I just want, uh, I want to do what we used to do for Duck Dynasty, or Duck Commander, the show and Duck Dynasty. I want to write on the wall, Rucker, Black Belt, and Taekwondo, because when he comes back, I need to know more about that. <laughs> like, we can just glance yeah, over on. it now. Oh, he, he's got it. We yeah. can We can glance over it now, but. Like when I see his little roly poly self come up, I don't think Taekwondo is like kicking and stuff. Oh yeah, right? oh yeah. I can't imagine him yeah. getting his foot above his waist or extended. Well, that's why I totally- I'm not in shape. Yeah, my current goal is to do a pull up, just one. Once I do it once, I'll be like, I did it. That was the goal. 
but Rucker and a black belt in karate <laughs> and, and, a, and, a, and a martial arts discipline. Like, oh, like how? That's why I told him give him six months with the jujitsu. Yeah, and he's gonna be a force to be reckoned with. Because anybody, <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Because anybody Stone's that just has that, <laughs> that amount of discipline to go through that your stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. he's gonna get good at it. But it's going to take a lot longer than six months. Well, okay. I don't know. I do. I don't know. He old now, man. Because <laughs> hey, he learned some from this experience with the popped out rib, I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah, don't do that again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah, well, don't we'll, we'll stupid find stupid again. We'll find out These tomorrow. boys hurt you. We'll find out tomorrow. Is he showing back up? He sent me a, just send me a text that he's coming to class tomorrow. Braver than me. Because I told him, I said, if you Why do I want to be there? <laughs> now I'm six, considering if joining. Stick with it. He's going to be good at it, I'm telling you. Well, oh, yeah. He will eventually. But about two or three years, he'll be. The problem is every fight I've ever heard Honestly. about from Rucker is it was very dirty. He's a very dirty fighter. Uh, I don't know that he can fight clean. Well, <laughs> well I, he's going to learn that in jiu-jitsu. Okay. Tell me. I'm telling you. Because okay. <laughs> them boys. You're going to hurt him. Hey, them boys will hurt you, okay? Uh, if you get stupid, I go, you're going to get hurt. Oh, your boy Clay. I, I talked to him at church. I about got him talked into coming. But his he, his wife is the one that that you got to watch out for. Well, she's a nurse. She can put him back together. She is also, Clay informed me that she's a black belt in karate. What's up with all these black belts in karate that well, I don't how know How am about? I surrounded by this many people that are masters at martial arts, and I never had a clue. And if I look at them, I'm like, no. Yeah, I wouldn't expect Rhonda to be able to kick you in the face. Yeah, I mean, I she yeah, she's a runner. Like, I mean, she runs, but that's about. I don't do that. I, mean, I, I haven't ever seen her do Look, anything more athletic than jog. Looks are deceiving. Well, I agree, but I mean, <laughs> good night. Like, hmm. <sighs> Yeah. You just think you would see that skill transfer into some other area, like, but with Rucker, he just got the gift of gab. Did he talk his way to a taekwondo black belt? Like, <laughs> he didn't did he? do he didn't do a lot of talking when he was in the on the mat. Well, he couldn't breathe. But he, was, sure. he was shaking like a dog trying to pass a peach seed. Yeah, yeah, I guarantee you. And I want to watch <laughs> Rucker. <laughs> yeah. Them years of discount cigarettes catching up with him, too. Oh, oh boy. Oh, man. Uh, That's fine. Si, if you were 20 years younger, would you would you go jujitsu? No. No? <laughs> well, that's no. You've got to have he a... He didn't even think about it. No, no. <laughs> no you've got to have a mental attitude to do that. Yeah. Who's a man? Uh, no, it's no, like that. you, you got to be that. a little bit off. you got to have very good, very discipline, yeah. number one, okay, to go through that junk, okay? <laughs> And number two, no. Because, <laughs> hey, it's first time they, you know, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm ready to fight. Oh, everybody. And then that's when he's going to hurt me, pop a rib. All or of whatever. our upper, upper belts, you know, purple belt no. above, that's the, the, the amount of work it takes to, to get there is just stupid. But I, every one of them at our school, nuttier than a squirrel turd. <laughs> Because you, how Crazy. long did it take? Because you lost seventy pounds, or got in the best shape of your life through boxing, not through right, and then switched over to this. Yeah, and it still took you years to get to where you're at. Yeah, about th I'm about three years in. Three now. years in, but I'm a ten to fifteen hours a week too, so that makes a difference. Yeah, but I'm old, old, older and dirt. Well, <laughs> you you once like did it. a demonstration on me, and I went to the floor swiftly. Well, that was before I knew anything, too. Yeah, and that's why I don't mess with it. The thing about <laughs> jujitsu where the rest of them fail is that jujitsu teaches you to use everything the other person's doing against him. That is correct. Oh, I seen that right off. Watch the nail. <laughs> you got that look I in said, his eye. No, no, no. Hey. Mm -mm. No. Because, uh, hey. You know, they got guys, that one guy walked in there and like he's got bicep bigger than Bumbo. Is his name uh, Burley? Oh, no. Hey, Burley no. still showing up? Oh, yeah. No. Burley doing. That's scary. See, and hey, yeah, Burley, Burley. Burley is like a, he's strong as a elephant. I'm aware. Mm -hmm. Okay. And look, a guy his size, 
will punish him because he'll use all that strength Burley's got against him. I'm not now, fighting. He's just laying there. One of them. He's laying there just like a worm. He ain't, ain't even no energy in oh. being exhausted. What about your boy Robichaud? He's five four. Oh, no. yeah. He's slinging me around like I'm a rag oh. doll. I'm, I'm telling you, when they use everything you do against you, they say I go fishing. No, you might ought to ease up there tomorrow at twelve o'clock for Rucker for Rucker's. I kind of. I'm just, I'm if you do, take your phone. Well, turn of Rucker. My only problem is I know enough of them boys I'm scared they somehow drag me out there. Oh, no. And then put me unconscious. <laughs> no, wouldn't nobody do that. You're at least big well, and scary. Hey, I watched them. They ain't nobody in that gym scared of me, and hey. nor should they be. Oh, they know. Like, I'm, I'm just telling you right now, ain't not near one of them. I watched them. What did you get, a white belt? No, that's what you get when you walk in the door. Well, yeah. no, well, what that's I, what you get for signing uh, up. I got a blue one last blue year. Blue one? Okay. Yeah. I watched them, hey, there's about 33 of them. Can we pull together our money and pay for Hunter's membership? <laughs> I'll Hunter. join if I get to hit <laughs> Hunter. Hey, look. No, there's no there's no punch. Hey, the night oh, he got I'm his out. blue uh, belt, <laughs> next belt. There's no punch. There's 33 of them. He fought all 33 of them. I watched it for about an hour and a half, and then I said, I can't take you anymore. I almost died. I got one of them ropes this morning and was swinging it. I almost died doing that. So yeah, I'm, well, not, I'm not ready. Yeah, you ain't there yet. <laughs> but no, for real, Hunter, if we bought you a membership, would you go? I, I think you, so. I'd, hey, I'd I try learned it this out. as a child. Oh, is it, it's for people like hey, Hunter. Look, yeah. I learned this as a child. Yeah. You don't what, swing nerds ropes. Or, <laughs> yeah. Swing all the ropes. <laughs> look, we got a guy, prime example, the most unassuming humans you would ever think that would destroy you physically. This guy. Is sick about six one. Has a little pot belly. Wears a fanny pack. It drives a Vespa. Okay. The only reason he does that is because he's hoping some rednecks will say something. <laughs> say something. Or <laughs> he can take him to make it turn him into a pretzel. That's it. Uh, he's yeah. <laughs> and he'll tell you that's the only reason he does it. Oh, sure. he, he asked me the other day. He said, "You tell you could get me one of those little Japanese trucks." <laughs> <laughs> like for what? I got hit by one of them. Oh, what? One, one yeah. of my best friends. Oh. He's a. Uh, his name's James. He's a bigger guy. Oh. I would never have assumed he has a black belt in karate. And he's got like a, a thing on a shelf with like all of his belts. Well, well, karate is useless. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the difference. <laughs> There's a huge difference. Right. Huge. Ask Rucker. He'll tell you. Remember yeah. this. You got a Looks are deceiving. Oh, I don't mess with Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. You I'm a very think. passive man. Hey, I'm telling if you, you want to fight me, I'm going to try and tell a joke uh, and get out of it. And then if it doesn't work, I'm going to throw something at you and run. <laughs> That's my goal. Yeah, I, I just think. It's I'm not fight. very strong, but I can throw things far and fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm just not going to fight you. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm past that point in my life. Like, I haven't been in a fight in a long time, but boy, did Matthew Foshi take it. Anyway. Emails? Emails? Yeah. Uh, Martin, hmm. you've been saying what you're good at, and it's not wrestling. What is it? Fishing. There you go. And you missed I'm not, I'm not saying I'm good at fishing. I just would rather spend my time you're good doing at it. fishing. I, I'd rather spend my time doing that than somebody choking me out or breaking my you arm. You don't have to be as disciplined <laughs> as you have to be if you go with jiu -jitsu. No, you got to be disciplined if you want to be well, good at it. I know. Well, I'm just saying. Like, I, I fished for four hours this morning and caught one. That they are. Yeah. Still had fun though. Not really. I was so <laughs> mad. Point. Like, where'd you go? I just went to the pond where my boat is. I mean, there's not many fish in it anyway, but there's biggins, and I just could not. Couldn't get, get one to bite. No, I caught one three pounder. Well, Madison, we're sorry for the advice you're about to get because it's not that good. But oh. Madison is a young adult wanting to learn the basics of fishing. Don't want to sink much money in college student budget, and not sure whether they'll fall in love with fishing. Any suggestion on? What to buy to get started? Cork and a cricket. Yeah, Zebco something. 33? Yeah, I mean, if you want to push. Well, I would probably go with some kind of spin cast just so if you do and decide you like it, you can do more with it. He said, I'll give him some good advice. He said, money is involved in here. Hey, start out real slow. Buy you a cane post, a little line, a hook and, and, a, and a cork and a weight. And a can of worms. Don't buy you a cane pole. Buy yeah, something. Yeah, that's what you do. Buy you something. That, if you really want to put in. Buy something. Money. Buy something that will fit in your car. 
That's a good point. Yeah. Not Grand something that you. In. All you got to do is roll the ones down. That's what I'm talking Another about. Another good thing. That's not fitting in it. Yes, it is. No, yes, it's it not. That, hey, uh, listen to me. Don't listen to these idiots. I watch They're fixing it. to make you buy some money, a rod, a reel, and all the bait. A cane pole is about funny. the same That's price funny. as a Zebco. Oh, he can go cut a cane pole out of a, out of a cane. Oh, now we're making deal. it ourselves. Okay. Hey, hey, yeah. You're not good for business. Then all he's going to have to buy is a cork. Man's a wearing a, a Crush hook. City Come hat. On. I'm trying to sell fishing Boy, bait to everybody. Boy, going to college, okay? Hey, don't waste your money on a fishing rod. I'm real. You can even find combos now that come with like a little tackle box with Size all your stuff. like, you go sit on a log and just keep your hands real still and grab it. Yeah. Hey, you can do that. No, you can't. Oh. Hey, you can. I've done it before. Don't that is me. not I can't do true. That. I You've should've. caught a fish with true. your hands? I've caught a thousand crawfish with my hands. That's not a fish. Uh, hey. He's right, you know. <laughs> it's a mud buggy, and you can mud eat buggy. him. John David, you're being very disrespectful right <laughs> I now. I know, yeah. And I have caught fish with my hands. Are you I don't in, believe that. Are you the guy in the comments? Yeah. Thanks, Hunter. Are hey. you are you one of the seventeen guys in the comments about how disrespectful John? Here's David the way you is? catch no, a fish. No, I would. Fish. I would never. Here's the way you catch a fish. You get in the Red River, shallow water, okay, and you spread your fingers like this right here. Spread your fingers out, and you lay there, and you lay in the water. You lay there and be still, and finally, when you feel something against your finger, that's it, heavy, Madison. Okay, and you got a sturgeon, a baby sturgeon, in your hand. Huh. That's all it takes, Madison. You will fall. That is the beginning of the fishing. If you don't surgeon. believe that, hey, <laughs> it's true. I've done it many times. In the red, red River. Red River? Yes, yeah. sir, I have. Sturgeon? I've caught a many a fish in these little grippers i got, boys, called fingers and plump. It seems oh. like a weird <laughs> hobby for a man who's deathly afraid of snakes to just sit there oh, and hey, watch. I'm in shallow water. No, they ain't come. No. Hey, let me tell you about I know the difference between a fish and a snake. I went up to a rock pile this you morning. You don't know the difference? Oh, between rock pile. Fish. Hold on, hold on. I went up to rock a rock pile. I, I'll get Jared to send the stuff. <laughs> I went to a rock pile that's in this pond I was fishing this yeah. morning, and I was oh, yeah. looking over there. I was like, oh, no, you don't want to do that. I was just looking. I was Something's like, Something's moving. That can't be all snakes. Oh, yeah. This thing like Snake Island. Oh, yeah. I mean, it had to have like 50 oh, yeah. diamondback water snakes all just yes, on sir. its sun and and then when we went up there, I told Jared, I said, do you see all them snakes? And he was like, that ain't snakes. I said, oh, yeah. Well, I don't know that they all are, but I can assure you the one on the bottom is because I've watched him move. And he's like, no, no way. <laughs> and then they all just bailed off. Of course, I'm sitting right there a foot from them in the boat. And he's like, he said, buddy, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, look. No, no. I said, the bad part is, you know, if they were on that snake, they've been on, or on that rock, they've been on my boat in that boat oh, house. I said, there's one it. in here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. As kids, okay, whenever it rained, where we live in Dixon, Louisiana, a lot of clay. Yeah. Well, when it rains and clay washes into the creek, mm -hmm. it forms a film on the water and they can't breathe, especially your carp. Your buffalo, they swim on top of water. Well, we would go and catch them and then sell them. With your bare hands? Yeah. Yeah, because, you, hey, you just get out chest deep, let them swim in, they hit you, and do it when they turn sideways, grab them with your hands and walk to the bank. Oh boy. Well, Madison, look, so we, that's the best advice we can give you. <laughs> no, no, look, so it it's rains. It's free. No, no, look, it rains. So, hey, we all head to the creek, and we see the water churning up in the creek. So we're running and fixing to go in the water until we seen what was rolling in the water. What? An alligator? Like lonesome, hey, like I, bet it, I bet it was a thousand snakes. Ooh. Oh, boy. And they're all mating. A thousand. Just boiling, rolling, and Put there the brake on. Hey, I'm telling you, you're yeah. talking about wicked looking. You know, yeah. that scene from Lonesome Dove oh, yeah. has stuck with me since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. I've seen that live. As I shot the real. TV. Did you kill them all? <laughs> Didn't have no gun. Never do. No, hey, that broke my fishing up. <laughs> I never waited again. Would you describe your childhood as feral? 
Because that's what it sounds I like just, to no, me. No, no, I describe my childhood as wild. Hey, yeah. man. Beth keeps okay. giving me the rap. Yeah, I know. We're you know. done. We're done here. Um, but, yeah, Madison, you're welcome for the advice. Uh, Zebco, get you some. No, 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 no. Do not buy anything. Yes. Walk sir. into the water and grab it until oh, you see yeah. a bunch of snakes. Then, well, if, okay, Madison, if you're going to Madison, if you're gonna take that advice, I'm going to uh, give you one piece of equipment you need, uh, a life jacket. Yeah. That is true. And a volleyball named Wilson Always and go out safe. there and yeah. just stab stuff. Always be safe when on the water, wear a life vest. Yeah. There you go. That was um. wild. First Timothy 4, 8, to go back to our uh, pull-ups and jujitsu conversation and our good friend Christian, who's in the podcast next door. For physical training is of some value, but godliness has value of all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. Whoop, whoop. Right. Go with eternity. Amen. All right, we'll see y'all next time. We're out. <laughs>